Welcome once again, folks, to Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe del Valle de Pobaca for the celebration of this Sunday Mass. We are in the 18th Sunday in Ordinary Time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy in us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And let us praise God together by saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O Lord, draw near to your servants and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our first reading today comes from the book of Exodus. The whole Israelite community grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The Israelites said to them, Would that we had died at the Lord's hand in the land of Egypt as we sat by our flesh pots and ate our fill of bread. But you had to lead us into this desert to make the whole community die of famine. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will now rain down bread from heaven for you. Each day the people are to go out and gather their daily portion. Thus will I test them to see whether they follow my instructions or not. I've heard the grumbling of the Israelites. Tell them, in the evening twilight you shall eat flesh, and in the morning you shall have your fill of bread, so that you may know that I, the Lord, am your God. In the evening, quail came up and covered the camp. In the morning, a dew lay all about the camp, and when the dew had evaporated, there on the surface of the desert were fine flakes like hoarfrost on the ground. On seeing it, the Israelites asked one another, What is this? For they did not know what it was. But Moses told them, This is the bread that the Lord has given you to eat. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, the Lord gave them bread from heaven. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. What we have heard and know, and what our fathers have declared to us, we will declare to the generation to come the glorious deeds of the Lord and his strength and the wonders that he brought. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. He commanded the skies above and opened the doors of heaven. He rained manna down upon them for food and gave them heavenly bread. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Man ate the bread of angels, food he sent them in abundance, and he brought them to his holy land, to the mountains his right hand had won. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. A letter from a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I declare and testify in the Lord that you must no longer live as the Gentiles do 
in the futility of their minds. That is not how you learned Christ, assuring that you have heard of him and were taught in him, as truth is in Jesus, that you should put away the old self of your former way of life, corrupted through deceitful desires, and be renewed in the spirit of your minds, and put on the new self created in God's way in righteousness and holiness of truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. And when they found him across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered them and said, Amen, amen, I say to you, you are looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, but for food that endures for life eternal, which is which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father God has set his seal. So they said to him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. So they said to him, What sign can you do that we may see and believe in you? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert, as it is written, He gave them bread from heaven to eat. So Jesus said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, once again, the Gospel is at the heart of who we are as Catholic Christians, and we continue talking about the Holy Eucharist, the bread of life. Jesus, a little further on in the Gospel, will say, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you can have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood dwells continually in me and I dwell in him. Imagine for a moment what the listeners of Jesus thought at the announcement of the Eucharist. Why, that is cannibalistic. And that is exactly what many of them thought in the first century, and Jesus lost a lot of followers over it. When they heard flesh, they saw meat. When they heard blood, they saw red liquid. This is so because some people tend to treat what they hear or see or read in a literal way with no regard for hidden symbolic meaning. First of all, John was addressing a Greek crowd, the Greek church. Eating the flesh and drinking the blood was not an issue for the Greeks. The Greeks were very educated and were of such a mind to look for the truth, the meaning behind the words. They had been trained, educated, and conditioned so that they were not hung up on the literal side of things. Secondly, John's version of what we call the words of institution of the Eucharist is so different uh, to the synoptic Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Their versions of the Last Supper, in their versions, 
It is easy to recognize in them that Jesus chose bread to take the place of his broken body and wine to take place of his shed blood. Most liturgies use the synoptic references to the Last Supper rather than the one in John because the meaning is more obvious. John offers no interpretation of his text. Thirdly, by the time John wrote, Christianity had been around two and a half generations. The story had been told again and again, and you know what? It must be retold again and again. By the turn of the century, the church had its liturgy. John's challenge was not to tell how it began, but what it means. You know, food, food, folks, food is essential for life. When we get hungry, we go to the refrigerator, get something to eat, we sit down for a meal or go out to dinner, whatever. We celebrate food with, I'm sorry, we celebrate with food and drink many things. Birthdays, wedding receptions, graduations, uh, promotions or retirement parties, the cheering of the home team, quinceañeras, food is the way we celebrate. And the Eucharist is a community celebration. We are God's family. We are in God's house now. We are honored guests where God invites us to absorb as much of himself as possible. And so the Eucharist is a personal encounter, a one-on-one -on -one meeting, with Jesus Christ. And during these precious moments of Mass, when we are surrounded by our brothers and sisters in Christ, we experience with Jesus the mystery of love we know in friendship and marriage. We name those close to us who we have given up to death, for instance, and tell Jesus that we believe he is eternal life for us. We bless God that we have felt the mystery of unselfishness we come to this table not because we are hungry for food, but because we hunger for God. Finally, we go away from the Eucharist energized to continue to reach out in love to one another, even to our enemies, to find ways to comfort the discouraged, to see God's goodness triumph over evil, to see the unseen in life and see God in our relationship with others. Thank God for the Holy Eucharist and for Jesus who gave it to us. For when we consume the Lord, body, blood, soul, and divinity, we are one with him in his suffering, death, and resurrection. And as the gospel says, he who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has everlasting life and I will raise him up on the last day. Praise God, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, he descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. In peace, let us pray for the Holy Church that she inspires in all God's people a courage, a courageous love of justice. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For our religious and civil leaders that as they seek the common good, they remember the oppressed, the disenfranchised, and the poor. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For an end to violence and strife in all God's world, and for peace in our time, we pray to the Lord. 
nor hear our prayers. For those held captive, for all pilgrims and travelers, for those who are sick and burdened, and for the care of the destitute, we pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For our celebration of the Eucharist, that it renews us with food for life's journey, strengthening us and keeping our minds and hearts fixed on the Lord, we pray to the Lord, 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 Lord hear our prayers. For today's Mass intentions, for the repose of the soul of Betty Leclerc and Sarah Cano, we pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For the repose of the soul of Vicki, Scott, and D. Seeley, we pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For the health and well-being of Toby Quigley, Russell Pesky, and Anita Pesky, we pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For the repose of the soul of Francisco E., and Francisco A. Vieira and Priscilla Vieira, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear my prayers. And folks, our special intention for my two grandchildren who just had birthdays, for Jerome Baca and Destiny Baca, who had birthdays on August the 2nd, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. O God of mercy, look upon us, your church at prayer, and be pleased with us. Be attentive to all that we ask, but give us what we truly need through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth is given in human hands and made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine also work with human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, God. be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts and lift, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know that it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of praise as we say, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread, and giving thanks, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And Lord, remember your church <clears throat> throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francisco, our Pope, John Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her faithful spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with uh, all the saints who have pleased us throughout the ages, we may merit to be glorious to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, that all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now, my friends, at the Savior's command, and for by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you all and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and each other. Thanks be to God.